Let's see if I can do a quick video for you while I'm waiting for Susan in the post office. Um, a nice person, and I really can't remember your name, I'm sorry, but either on Facebook or Twitter, left a message talking about an issue they had with the Kona, with the window seal on the Kona Electric. And they said it was a, a common thing with Hyundai's apparently, where the window seal doesn't work very well, water gets on the inside of the door and runs through the door, and you notice it in the morning with all the dew dripping through onto you, seal and he's saying about he gets about an egg cup a day um, so I thought I would do a test and have a look and see whether my window seal was alright I poured a watering can against the window and lo and behold um, water did come out of the door in a place that I wouldn't expect so while the car was in for its first service with uh, Hyundai uh, I left them a few warranty issues to deal with so I thought I'd return that favour and today share what those warranty issues were and the fact that they've all now been fixed as well or so I'm told by the dealership SLM Hyundai um, they've said they have fixed it uh, they're waiting on a part to fix the window seal and that's why I'm still in there uh, see if we can do it there orange <laughs> um, Kona Electric so the three things that uh, I've asked to be looked at under warranty were the window seal, and yes, they've acknowledged that that was an issue, so they're replacing it. I could tell also there was a, like a green algae on the inside of the furry bit of the window seal as well, so it was clear that water was getting in and uh, not drying out. So have a look at yours and see if you've got the same issue. The second issue was I have a rattle, and the rattle comes from here. Um, you can only hear it when you're doing between say 30 and 50 miles an hour and it has to be a bumpy road but a smooth road if it's too rough and the road noise is too loud you often can't hear it if you've got the radio on you can't hear it but I can hear it right here on my ear against this and uh, it's I thought it was coming from the inside of the height adjustable side of the uh, seat belt there and uh, yeah they've acknowledged they well actually I asked them when it was new when it went in when it was first new in September last year to have a look for it and they couldn't find the noise this time I submitted it again and they've actually found it and they think it's something on the inside that wasn't greased properly so it's creaking so something to do with the resonance um, this car itself uh, has the same problem but it doesn't come on so it doesn't come on so often it's uh, less frequent but when it does it's a different kind of rattle so I guess whatever it is it's just a different resonance a slightly different position of the wires or the plastics or something that's on the inside there so I, I believe they've taken it apart greased the things that are in there and it doesn't rattle anymore so I'm looking forward to trying that and hoping that's okay the third and last item is uh, the smart cruise control. You'll all know that uh, as you're driving along with smart cruise control, if you've got a Kona Electric, sometimes it says smart conditions not met, and there's absolutely no reason for it. But recently, uh, Malcolm has let me know that uh, there's a little trick to fixing it. You can dab the brakes, and then lo and behold, the conditions are met, and smart con cr cruise control works. So I thought while it was in, I would uh, ask them what the problem is, even if they submitted it as a technical query. Lo and behold, they think it's the brake sensor so they've changed it and they think it now works fine so if that is what it is and uh, that helps other people get your conas in and get it fixed because uh, that should be under warranty so I'm not trying to say the Kona Electric is full of faults and full of warranty issues actually what I'm saying is um, because it's so quiet you notice these things these little things and Hyundai for me have been absolutely excellent um, I'm in their Kona Electric as a loan car which I'm extremely grateful for I, I do have a very special relationship with SLM Hyundai and I'm very privileged to have access to this car it's, it's not a loan car to everyone so uh, I am grateful to them but it's nice to have your car perfect and uh, my experience of Hyundai so far through this dealership is uh, send it in tell them what uh, you think's wrong with the car they'll investigate and if it's anything that is a fault they fix it um, i have heard some people having to pay for things to be fixed in advance and then claim the money back after they can prove whether it is a problem or not um, i guess different dealerships uh, work differently so i can't recommend slm hyundai enough they they do it the right way around uh, how, how you're supposed to so thank you very much anyway i hope this helps a few other people that have got kona electrics if you've got a rattle there or your smart cruise control does the same where its conditions not met or um window window seal so check them and have a look um, all, all you need to do like I did was pour some water on the window probably a large amount of water and then open the doors and see whether the water comes out of the wrong places or not
and of course if you've got the seal going green as well you know water's getting in there anyway thanks for watching i hope that was helpful to a few people just a really short video take care see you again soon bye bye